Hi, Virgo. Welcome to now, Virgo. Okay. So I actually already recorded a reading. Um, and technically Sagittarius was last, but now you are. So that could have Sagittarius could have something to do with this. Um, or maybe most importantly, more so it has to do with what is out of your control, Virgo. What is out of your control? Right? What is out of your reach? What is out of your reach, Virgo? And the name of your other reading was called A Change of Mentality. And just so you know a little bit, it you you had this Ten of Wands in the, your present position. So there could be stressors and things that you're pushing through handling or needing to handle but remember when the ten of wands is there if you handle what you need to handle regardless of the things that are out of your control what is in your control is the most important thing i guess what is in your control king of cups in the heart of the matter side note it's been cold I mean, I almost said freezing, but that would have been a superlative. Where I live, it's not freezing, but it literally was cold. It was like in the 40s, and it's still chilly today, but the sun is out, and so we must... I heard before I started reading, it was the sentence, we must appreciate when it is light and warm and comfortable, right? Because sometimes not everything's comfortable and for you being ruled by mercury probably comfortable inside of your your own head you know what i mean like and a lot of the problems that i think that you you're having uh really i mean sure the the external world could play a role in that right the physical world but really regardless of all that it's it all just depends how you think about it how you want to perceive it you know what i mean um i did see a message that kind of made me laugh but then i was a little concerned and this this isn't for everybody but when i saw these two these three cards actually together I was reading the story as we go along and when you get down to the bottom it was like man i just want to have it like i just want to go get fucking lit you know just and just be like fuck it can you see these <laughs> like do something really inappropriate it's in for those of you who do drink or like the unhealthy way whoever the unhealthy way that people deal with their emotional state is something that it's good to listen whatever is it's good to listen and not be worried if you can understand everything yet some inform information comes in at different times right in different ways and sometimes the recognition or the acknowledgement or the understanding of that takes quite some time right especially the emotional uh i heard appreciation and acceptance of that so i see again enjoy when things are light and warm and soft and quiet appreciate it whenever it happens drink that cup up you know what i mean let me see here 
interesting. You have three of cups, two of cups below it, ace of cups beneath it. So you're building, right? Building strong emotional ties with things. But not so necessarily that you're tied to it, but it's just part of the warp and the weft, which makes the which makes the 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 tapestry stronger, right? The whole stronger. Okay, so some of you are a little bit <clears throat> you could be a little bit concerned about what the next step is like and especially there's so much water in your reading you even have the queen and king of the ace of cups two of cups three of cups king and queen of cups so i heard what's the problem Is there actually a problem right now? Or is it just in your head? Some of you really want to tell somebody, <laughs> most of you a female, like, fuck off. <laughs> like, I don't give a fucking shit. Something like that. But it's somebody that you really love. And I like the way that we said it. It wasn't like, fuck off. You know, like, it was like, fuck, get the fuck out of here. It doesn't have to all be a few. It's a feminine, and it's a feminine energy that's like the one that's being the energy that's being directed is a feb water, earth, emotional people. Um, so, <laughs> so <clears throat> maybe what it is is that someone has a lot. Uh, just a second Virgo let me I need to take a second hold on right we were in one mentality one brain wave thought pad rut in the road right and take a minute get back to the zero point and feel how warm it is and how light it is and how quiet it is and then let's take a gander. What is it that you're afraid to say? What is it that what is it that you're afraid to say? What is it that you're afraid of? Any of you who are hung up on, like, hung up in some sort of mentality that makes you think that something is out of your reach is purely in your head. It's not real. Maybe that was programmed in you. Maybe you watched some movies and it tweaked you into thinking that that was reality or something. Right. I mean, think about, like, all the shows about family, you know, sitcoms and movies and whatever. That is not real life. You know what I mean? It's not real life. Life has many different levels and expressions and perceptions, Virgo. But you already know that. 
I see that somebody is waiting for somebody to say something and somebody else is waiting for someone to do something. And I see that there's a standoff. <laughs> there's a standoff. And depending... It's funny though, whatever it is, if you can't see I'm smiling, if you can't hear it in my voice, which you probably can because that would get, be one of your special powers, but um, there, there's something that ne it needs to be seen lighthearted, okay? Um, it, okay, so there is a Scorpio reading. Was it December? <laughs> that's kind of how the situation has to be taken it's almost as if kids are fighting and you know it gets real serious for a second it's all emotional right that's usually why kids end up fighting or end up crying or being loud or whatever they're emotional and they need something emotionally right uh obviously not receive i heard not receiving something emotionally now emotional reception is up to the individual the being to absorb it but of course it's a mirror of what's in front of you right around you so while there is this standoff or the time in between that it takes for something to mature especially emotionally and actually understand what it is that's going on because I think that someone just doesn't understand what's going on. They don't have all the information yet. Some of the information is sort of hidden or there's uh, pain that's like pushing the information instead of again sensing and being in this it's so warm and it's so light and it's so calm and it's so quiet. It's so nice. This life it's so nice this life sure it's got its bullshit like anything else bullshit actually is suiting for Taurus Scorpio too that's interesting that's where it comes out right the interesting so the point is is that you got to get it out right um so that goes okay interesting so if taurus rules the sc throat and scorpio rules like the anus or like the private parts right you have to release after virgo used to come scorpio you digest something and you gotta fucking get it out of your body right you release the toxins the things that are no longer necessary right um so people end up talking a bunch of bullshit or they like <laughs> Or they, because they haven't digested something, for the most part, I see emotionally. I guess this could also be some sort of, um, you know, maybe there's something with Virgo in your chart, or maybe there, there's, uh, someone has stress, like, in their belly, you know what I mean? Like, But I see that it because it's one, two, three, and you were connected to Aries last time. You're connected to Aries this time. Uh, one, two, three, right? We have to go in order. So the next step is four. Fours are good. Fours are about home. Forms or the stability, right? It's the it's the cornerstones of something. It's the four directions. It's the four seasons the four corners of the earth right things of this nature so be okay three is good for a single person right a three-legged stool never tips but three-legged stool is only for one person so now there's something about four and i actually saw instead of a chair i saw a bench which holds many people right but it generally a bench is somewhere where you sit for and wait you know and actually then i saw like church pews so maybe there's something you've been praying about or something where uh i i actually just saw someone be like 
hey, like you're walking down the aisle and you see, and then this person's, you're looking where to sit or something, or like where you're supposed to be to be able to be in the place to understand what it is that's going on. And then someone's like, hey, come over here, sit down. You know? I heard that's a lot different than just sitting in the corner. Because sitting in the corner is what? It's only one of the four. You're going to, you already, you already did the one, then that's the two, then you go to, you're already at three. I see three will probably, the stage of three will probably stay until uh, the equinox, right? Like March, April time, getting into Aries time. It could even it could be like April May, but I see I see I see mostly I see for most of you the the three again stays from Pisces uh, again it goes to the equinox. Let's see what happens when we go to the next right after when we get to the equinox right give you I heard give you something to look forward to right. All right, that's a lot. Let's see. Okay, six of wands, awesome. There's success. Page of wands, cool. That's uh, some of you could have fire children around. It's the last one. That nope. And then that turns into the king of wands. <clears throat> so beautiful. So something grows up. Awesome. Look at this. Magician. I'll just read them out loud because these cards are hard to see. Magician, Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, the Empress, and the Three of Pentacles. I heard, what the heck are you worried about? What are you worried about? Six of Wands, Knight of, uh, Page of Wands, King of Wands. So I see again, something completely gross the, gr I heard gross the fuck up. Awesome. And whatever it is, again, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, then it goes into Six of Wands. Okay. I heard some of you live out of your means. Like, maybe some of you, like, maybe some of your families were, like, poor and then they had a bunch of money. Or something like that. Or maybe you grew up poor and now you have more money. Um, or that's what you dream about. For some of you, like, you want, you want, like, some sort of... How do I see this? Well, now this went into this whole other world. Right, with the Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups. And what? Cut. I heard cut it out. And then I, I saw... What does that have to do with now? And how bright it is, and how sunny it is, and how warm it is, and how calm it is, and how quiet it is. What is that? What is what is all that? We have the six of wands. We have success. Okay. Whatever it is that seemingly has been out of your reach will be within your grasp. And if you take up a emotional responsibility for yourself, right? And take things a little more lighthearted. Then I see whatever ends up within your grasp.
Well, it's something quite great and powerful and... But you do have to wait for whatever this Six of Wands is. Right, I was just reading about this little pygmy uh, seahorse. It's like Baragonti or something like that. Bar Baragonti pygmy seahorse. And it sits in... It, it can like mimic the, this f almost like fluorescent like fuchsia um fluorescent pink fuchsia colored floral it even has the same shape and everything but it eats th the prey that that it it's preying upon to sustain to sustain itself moves so quickly that this seahorse has to be really 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 patient like sit there literally sometimes for days not moving right until i think the the thing that it eats has to be like two millimeters away from the seahorse's mouth for it to be like whoop and you can't even actually see it do it with the naked eye it would have to be where you use slow motion to to be able to actually sense this but it had, I, I want to tell you, it's so fascinating. The, I forget what it is that, that is the prey uh, or th that the seahorse is trying to eat. But it moves 300 times its length in one second. If you think about, like, for example, if a cheetah is running at full speed, it can run 30 lengths of itself in one second. 30 lengths, which is fascinating, in one second. This little thing can move 300 of itself in one second. And that's kind of like the is, 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 is what I'm seeing here with the six of all these wands, right? Things just like, boom, change all of a sudden. But you have to be patient, right? You have to be patient. Um, somebody may be baptizing a child. Interesting. Some sort of water ceremony with the child would be really helpful. Um, I heard it doesn't have to be technical. Maybe you want to be baptized again. Uh, three of Pentacles star. Maybe that would be really helpful for you. Huh. I don't know who invented the word baptism, if it's specific, but you know what I'm saying. Wow. Yeah, maybe. Um, look at this, the temperance with the bull here and the Taurus card. Yeah, maybe some sort of water ceremony with the earth. Very spiritual, though. It'll help your work. It'll help, it'll help something work. It, it'll help you focus. It'll help something focus. It'll help something work. It'll help something be more at ease with whatever it is that it's fighting. And I heard again, it doesn't have to be technical. Virgo. I see whatever the water source is. Whatever this ba baptismal water is, it's it's not like in a inside of a house or something. It's like in the ocean, in a hot spring, in a spring, in a river, in a natural source. 
you may have to drive to go there or maybe you want to do some research and find out where people used to do that before I heard before there were churches or like temple like that kind of thing fascinating Virgo what's that about it's interesting there's been a lot of people Aries too is strong like I said you're connected but this time frame is so ancestrally strong you know I see again some of you live outside of your means you don't need as much as you have okay I'm not saying you deserve less or anything or that it's wrong what it is that you have I'm saying there's something about very important about living simply like what I also see any of you who are uh, looking for a job in a new place or you're looking for a house in a new place uh, I also see that that is something that um, you, you probably will receive news about um, so it's not necessarily like keeping our expectations low, but it's just like, okay, well this, I heard this will do for now. Cool. You know, again, just appreciating what it is, where you're at. Okay. Yeah. Feel strong about that, where you are. Okay. You have food, you have clothes, you have tools, you have eyes, you have hands, you have money, you have a father, you have a mother, most of you have, there's children, right? You have love, you have intuition, you have a very, uh, emotional mind I also heard you have desires and what are they and what are the desires that no longer suit you what is it that no longer suits you that suit don't fit anymore right that bathing suit don't fit anymore. Or maybe it's just old and tattered. Mm-hmm. It could just be old and tattered. Maybe it's time for a new suit. And not one made out of armor. Maybe it's one made out of sunshine. Virgo. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Three of swords, eight of cups. Come on. Come on. I've been telling you for a year and a half. You need to smile more. You know why I picked this deck? I actually picked it with my eyes closed. Um, I just chose it by feeling. But um, th this one, can you see the Virgo on the front? That's the hermit. <laughs> with this little tortoise. Aww. <clears throat> so much in your head. Get out of there. You'll have many, many, many lifetimes to figure out other things, certain things, you know. So, so try not to be too concerned. I heard about the way things used to be. But more so, just try to enjoy how warm it is, how bright it is, or how quiet it is. You want to just take a second to listen to the quiet.
I love you so much. Uh, happy February. Happy now. I heard keep, keep focus on spring. Keep an eye on spring. Okay. Um, I also feel like most of you should find the closest spring to you in the, from the earth. Where is it? Go find it. I'm sure that there must be a, there, you know, somewhere. Find it. Go on an adventure and try to find it. Um, yeah, there's... Thirty-one, thirty-one. Thank you, anyone who's still here. Thank you for all your love and support and sweetness and consideration and inspiration. It's very, very, very much appreciated. Um, of course, anyone who's gone over to Patreon too. Thanks. It's a pretty cool space. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I did a few um, three month ahead uh, solstice to equinox readings, and I actually just posted Vesta on there too in, uh, in all the houses so i've been working with the goddesses and things lately so anyway check it out if you feel if you feel the desire all right i love you enjoy the sun get some sunshine okay take care of yourself then remember whatever that stalemate is or whatever that <laughs> Take it lighthearted, okay? Take it lighthearted. Take it, just take it for what it is and try to find some humor in it because that's one of the purposes in life. <laughs> Love you. Peace. <laughs>